Okay, this one here is going to be your remote for your remote control. Okay, the top one on the brass wire goes to into the generator, and then the top, the other wire goes straight up to your real stat, which is up here. You connect it right here. Right there on your real stat. Okay, connect it in there. Then you take your black wire, which is this one here, and you put it on your board. It goes right there. Then you take your plug and you basically just slide it in there. And that's basically it. It goes there. Now, with a remote, this is going to be a remote wire. You have two choices. You can essentially take this wire here and put it in the middle of your real stand on that middle wire right there. That one right there. That one's your power source. That one's coming straight from the generator. You can put it there. Plug it in there if you want to. Plug it in. And then you put your real set on zero and plug in your remote and you control your, your heat through the remote. Or you can do what a lot of guys do. They take a uh, toggle switch. Where is my toggle switch? I had a toggle switch here. Oh, here it is. Here's my toggle switch. What you do is you take the wire from the real set, that one right there, you take it off and you put it in the middle. Then you take this wire and you connect it here. Then you take this wire and you run it up to the middle of the real stat. So then essentially what you have is if you put it in the middle, it'll be on off. But if you put it on the bottom, it'll be your remote. Or if you put it up to the top, you control your heat through this one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wire here and just plug it into the middle right here, into the middle of the real stat because I do not want to have a toggle switch. So now the only thing I have to do is when I'm working, I just put it, go ahead and put the real set on zero, plug in my remote. When I unplug it, I just control the heat through, through here. So that's about as easy as it is gonna to get to install a remote on a Lincoln SA200. Thanks.